Hey guys and welcome back to the channel, it's a Sketch Monkey here and in this video we're gonna have a look at the 1982 Chevy Camaro and what we're going to do is kind of an in-between between a uh, modernization of this shape and a complete redesign. So the final product is not really going to look anything like this because we're going to change a lot graphically while still keeping the original proportions of the car. This is one of the generations of Camaros that I really like. I love the design of it. It has the typical American muscle uh, styling and that by that I mean very horizontal and vertical lines that makes it look tough and uh, solid. But at the same time, it kind of reminds me a little bit of some European exotics of the time or sports cars. For example, one car that comes to mind is the Renault Alpina for some reason. And I like the mix of American and European styling in this Camaro. So what I want to do is take some design features and graphics of the current generation and apply it onto this shape, while still making it look like an 80s Camaro that should be built today. And what does that mean specifically? Well, we have some leftover style design features from the 60s for example we have this indent here if you can see this this is very this is very typical for 60s and 70s cars and i think this is probably one of the last cars to be produced with such a massive indent here because i think it has a lot to do with regulations that came in place in the 80s that you need to cover the cars uh, the wheels uh, with the with the body of the car so I want to extend these fenders going all the way down here. Something like this and the same in the rear. Like that. And then in the front is where the uh, major changes are going to happen. You see that the grill or the air intake with the, with the um, plate and the, the lights are down here. And that was that, that, that carried over to the next generation as well. But today we have the grill in between the headlights. So I want to create some graphics that connects the two sides of the headlights. So I want to have a, a, a graphic that goes across the width of the front of the car. Today's generation, I'm not a huge fan of the styling. And the reason for that is that uh, it makes it, it looks like it's too high and too narrow and a lot a lot of that has to do with the, the lighting, the light design. Because the lights on the new Camaros, if you've seen it, they go all the way in here. So they end. So this is the LEDs of the new Camaro. And they end about here. And what that does, it takes away from the width of the car. So what I want to do when we redesign this car today is to keep these four separate headlights like this and I want to still have them sitting inside of the bumper that's a feature that I really love about this 80s Camaros is that the lights they look like they sit in a in an eye socket or something like that that's definitely something I want to keep so what does it mean to modernize an 80s car specifically well it means that we we could add some lines and some surfaces to this car that they weren't able to manufacture in the 80s, but they could do it today. So that's what we were going to do. Part of that is sharpening up all of these curves here. So here we have a, it's not really a sharp line and it's not a curved line as well. So I want to define whether it wants to be a curve, a curved corner or a sharp corner. And I, I'm going to go with sharp corners for this redesign because modern design tend to be sharper especially if you have a sports car and it's particularly if you have an american sports car so we're going to sharpen up all these lines sharpen up the shoulder line specifically and also as i said create this graphic here so we have a graphic that goes from core from end to end of the car and that creates a wider looking car if you look at it from the front i also want to work on the lower part here so add some sort of side splitter down there same thing in this corner and have something that breaks up this long continuous line here. I think we need something, probably something like this, that goes up into the bumper and then we have some a spoiler or something down there to break up the, the long line here and make it more interesting. If we delete these lights here, for example, they look very dated, so we need to upgrade those. 
If we delete those though, we're gonna have a massive surface here where nothing goes on. So we need to figure out how to keep the, uh, Amer the how to be true to the American muscle car styling, which, ha which means a lot of vertical and horizontal lines, but at the same time, not create too many surfaces where that are boring and that by that I mean surfaces large surfaces where there are no curvatures and no lines to break up the surface so we need to figure out if this is gone you see that this is a huge area here so I want to figure out something down here some line that's not too much it's not too too over styled but at the same time it breaks up that surface talking about the hood I want to work on the hood as well so you see these vents here I want to remove those and redesign the hood so we have this line right here make that maybe a little bit more stronger a stronger line there and maybe have some graphics inside of this hood maybe we could add some air intake here I'm not sure yet we're gonna have to figure that out as well and see how it's going to look when we get to that point same thing down here I want to add a uh, uh, graphic or a you know something to break up this surface this is another one of these surfaces that are just too big there's nothing going on and we need to modernize it make it look shorter or or um, uh, yeah shorter and not so tall and we do that we can still have the same distance here but by using graphical elements we can make it look like it's lower than it actually is and that i do that by adding some graphic down here other than that, of course, we can tint the windows right here if we want to do that. Uh, of course, we're going to update the wheels and the tires to make them into something more modern looking. And that's about it. So let's jump in to the redesign of this Camaro now and let's see how this is going to turn out. All right, so let's get started here. First of all, let's get rid of all of the big design features that we need to change. For example, one of the big design features that I mentioned in brief is I want to move the grill or the air, the major air intake up so that it is placed in between the headlights instead of having it down there as it is on this model and the model F and the Camaro model after this one. So that's what I'm doing right now, I'm just blacking everything out to get the feel for how the graphics are going to work together. And also starting to work on the big surface that we're creating. If, so if we do this, if we move, the thing with the original placement of the grill is that it breaks up the bumper. So if we move the, that intake up in between the lights, we're going to create a huge surface that is the bumper and we need to take that up somehow and that's one of the challenges with this redesign was to figure out how to break it up but at the same time you know it would be easy to overstyle it add a bunch of different lines but that's not going to be very muscle car like because muscle cars usually have a very simplistic styling and very beefy styling so i wanted to keep that but at the same time add some graphical elements into the bumper to break that up I also wanted to work on the hood and redesign the hood itself. Played around with a hood scoop here or uh, an intake in the hood. But, you know, I just thought it didn't suit the overall design of the car. It just made it look uh, almost cartoon-like. And I wanted to keep this as clean as possible to the original design while we still modernize it, of course. So what I decided to do is add some additional lines on the hood and also redefine the main two lines that we have going from the top of the windscreen all the way down to the grill. So working on the headlights is pretty simple. I, I knew what I wanted to do with the headlights because I love the original 82 um, headlights. They look, as I said, like, like a hawk or something like that. And to keep that styling, all we gotta do is figure out the placement of the four separate headlights. And when you look at the graphics, when you have the graphics done like this already, the placement of the headlights comes pretty natural. They, they, it can, they can only be in one place, and that is in the top corner of each corner of this black graphic. And since we have a huge black blob in the middle of this car now, that means that we need to figure out how to break that up as well. It's the same kind of uh, principle as breaking up the bumper. We need to have... If we have two big surfaces where nothing goes on, it creates 
it doesn't make for an interesting design. Even though it's supposed to be a muscle car, we can still have some interesting details in these big surfaces where we have a lack of graphics. So when we decided to cover the, the tires uh, and remove this indent that we have in the 82 model, that creates a, it makes the, the door look very high and it looks the side look very high. So what we need to do here is to break that up as well by adding some graphical elements down at the bottom of the side of the car and that will create a shadow so that it looks like the, the side is shorter and not as tall as it actually is. And that's the power of playing around with graphic design in a car design. You can play around with it and you can make a car look narrow, wide, long or tall or whatever you want if you understand how graphic design works in a car design. So we're coming to an end of this redesign. All I gotta do now is just add the cut line for the door and the door handle and then I'm gonna show you the before and after and give you an overview of what was done in this redesign. All right, so let me quickly walk you through what we did in this redesign and how it turned out compared to the brief that I gave you in the beginning of the video. So we have the original up here, the 1982 Camaro. And what I wanted to do is keep the proportions of the car, clean up the lines, meaning tighten up the lines and not have to be in between round and uh, sharp. So I wanted to sharp up, sharpen up the shoulder line here. And as you can see, I added some sharpness to the rear as well. So we have the rear shoulder being more muscular and feel like it's actually defined and it knows what it wants to be. So if it wants to be round or sharp, I decided to go with sharp for this redesign. Another big major thing that I wanted to do is move up this graphic here. So have it more modern, have it be in the center of the car. So we have it up here. And of course that creates uh, a more resemblance to the 2019 model, which they do have the, uh, the some air intakes in the bottom here as well. And I wanted to implement that in some way, but not too much, not to have these massive grills that we have today. So still have some, you know, a, a hint of that design feature that we have on the 2019 model, but keep it a little bit more subtle than what it is in, in today's model. So I added this part down here to give it a nod to that design feature. Another thing is that's very important for pretty much every single car is the headlights. It's like the eyes of the car and that gives it a personality. And this looks almost like a, uh, a hawk or something like that. And I've wanted to obviously keep the four separate headlights. But now, since it's a 2019 and 1982 model, we can add some uh, modern touches to it. And that means we're gonna obviously add some LEDs in here. Still keep the original shape of the, um, the square headlights right here, but make them shorter and make them uh, more sinister looking while still keeping them inside of the car itself or inside of the eye socket. And we also added this cover for the wheels and that is one of these small touches that is going to make any car from the 60s and 70s just look more modern because we don't have this indent in modern cars today. So that's another thing that I changed and extended the fenders all the way down, almost all the way down to the corner right there. Added some side splitters down here and the big surface that I was talking about in the intro right here, we, I broke that up by using almost an arrow shaped graphically. So this is pointing towards the center of the car. We have almost like an arrow going this way. And of course, same thing on the other side. And that's great. If you look at it from a three quarter front view, it's going to create this forward motion by using these angles here. And I took the wheels straight off a 2019 Camaro. I think they suit the car perfectly and also broke up this uh, big graphical black element here with a grill that stretches from underneath the headlights all the way to the other side, from one side to the other. And that is one of these things that also adds to the width of the car. So that's it for this redesign. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you like these kind of videos, I'm gonna link all my car makeovers up here in the corner so you can go and check out those and browse the channel of the Sketch Monkey. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video.